Hello everyone, welcome to yoga class, yoga with Dr. Doris. In this session, we are going to warm up our body, open the shoulders, the neck, and our hips. Alright, so have your, open your fingers like starfish, press them down underneath your shoulders, knees are directly underneath your hips, and welcome to get any adjustment that you need to get. So you can bring your elbows down if your wrists are still have too much stress or you can get the blanket underneath your knees elongate from the crown all the way into the tailbone have a long spine inhale to cow lift up your chin belly down tailbone into the sky exhale to cat arch your back tuck your chin press your belly away from the earth inhale and exhale Notice your breath, notice your body, notice your spine. And if your spine has some story around, either the upper back, mid back, or lower back, just allow yourself to be mindful. Maybe it doesn't have to be that big arch, but just always come back to the tabletop and allow a little bit adjustment. It is okay. Okay, one more deep breath, coming back to the center. Now look over to the left shoulder. Look over to the right shoulder. And now slowly push your hips to the back. Maybe circle around. Maybe to the right, maybe to the left. Allow yourself to unwind some unwanted tension around the lower back and the hips. Steady breath. Okay, well now one more deep breath, coming back to the center. Now extend your right leg behind you. Right toe still on the floor and press the right heel to the back wall. You can gently just pause your right heel to the back, checking in. How's your right heel? Belly into spine. If this resonates with you, welcome to extend the left hand to the front or not. Find a good breath right here. Exhale, arch your back knee to the nose and tuck your chin. Inhale. And exhale, arch your back knee to the nose and tuck your chin. Inhale. And exhale, arch your back knee to the nose. Another three rounds like this on your own and no rush. Steady breath. And once you finish your three rounds, lift out your back leg behind you. If you still have your left hand to the front, welcome to extend. Now press the right heel to the back wall, belly into spine, engage the core. Steady breath. Now this time lower your left hand down, bring your right foot behind your left hip. Now gaze over to your left shoulder. Now breathe into the right ribcage, right hip. Okay, one more deep breath. This time, one more time, bring your right foot behind you. Side plank. Left hand or left elbow underneath your left shoulder. Pivot your left toe behind your left knee and inhale right hand into the sky. And visualize your body look like a rainbow arch open. And from here, play around. Right hand on top of the right shoulder. You can kind of like circle that around. Open the space. If you want to stretch it out, your elbows, point to the front, to the back, and find a free expression around this area.
Okay, so one more deep breath. Extend, reach out, hands into the sky. Now push your little bottom hands, push into the earth. Now reach your hands into the sky. Open the chest, feel the armpit open. Good, and actually reach your hands and knees down. And cat and cow several times to unwind the space. Now when you're ready, let's find the other side. Extend your left leg behind you. So left toe on the floor and press the left heel to the back wall. And you can pause your left heel to the back. Check it in. Okay, how's my left heel? How is my left calf? Maybe gradually open up the muscles and the postures right here. Now welcome to stay here where you can extend your right hand in to the front. It's up to you. If this is too much for you, you can always lower your hands down. Okay? And exhale, arch your back knee to the nose. Inhale, open. And exhale, arch your back knee to the nose. Inhale, steady breath. And exhale. Another three rounds like this on your own and no rush. And once you finish your three rounds, you lift up your back heel behind you. Still press the left heel to the back wall. You can extend your hands to the front or not. Very important, belly into spine, engage the core. Elongate the neck. Now bring your right hand down. Now bring your left foot behind your right hip. Gaze over to your right shoulder. Now breathe into the left, ribcage, left hip. Okay, one more deep breath. Now bring your left foot behind you. This time set up for the other side. So I'll set up, let me turn around. The other side. All right, so right hand or right elbow underneath your shoulder or play around and pivot your right toe behind your right knee. Inhale left hand all the way into the sky. <sighs> Feels nice. Visualize the body look like a rainbow arch. Open the rib cage. From here, left hand touch your left elbow. Slowly just roll your shoulder to the front, to the back. Feel that range of motion. And welcome to stretch it out your hand to the front, to the back. One more deep breath, extend your hands into the sky. So like a buzz light year, say, reach to the star, right? And open. Good, and actually reach your hands and knees down. And slowly push your hips to the back. Maybe circle around. Maybe to the right, maybe to the left. Notice the space. Good, one more deep breath, coming back to the center. Now tuck your back toes, inhale up, come to the sitting position on your heels. So we're trying to open up the back, the bottom of your feet. If this is too much for you, welcome to untuck your toes, or you can just sit on a chair, whatever is good for you, okay? Now, let me face you. So when you're ready, inhale, hands up ahead. And exhale, hands on the heart center. Inhale, hands up ahead. And exhale, open arm facing to the right side. Gaze over to your right fingertips. Inhale, hands up ahead. And exhale, open arm facing to the other side. Gaze over to your left fingertips. 
Good, now inhale, hands overhead, interlace your hand, chin to the chest. And actually, release. All right, so this time, in, extend your both hands to the front. Um, and now, turn over, palm facing each other, and interlace them. Now, bring your fist all the way to the heart, and flip it open. And slowly bring your fist toward your heart, unwind, and we're going to switch to the other side, okay? Whatever the other side is for you. And one more time. And now bring your fist to the heart center. All right, when you're ready, let's release the tension around your toes. Now just lift up your back heel behind you. Slowly just let go of the tension or like tap if you want. Okay. Now when you're ready, tuck your back toes. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. So welcome to find your downward dog. Okay. Welcome to paddle out if that serves you. And if you feel like, yeah, my hamstrings are really tight, well, you can lower your knees about two inches toward the mat, allow your hips sink, push your seat bone all the way to the back wall, and lower your heels down. Mm. And repeat that a couple of times to unwind that space. And if you feel like my hips are really tight, well, you can deliver one leg up, open that space, checking in, how's your body? And breathe. Let's find the other side. Mm. And when you're ready, that's all me at the downward dog. At the bottom, exhale, gaze over, hop or beat water to the top of the mat. Find your red dog position. Red dog position, standing shoulder width apart, bend your knees, now hinge down from the waist. Welcome to grab up the elbows if I serve you. Nod your head, yes and no, swing side to side. To let go of the tensions. Or elbows rest on the quadriceps, that's very good too. Now exhale, release your hands on top of the mat. Now slowly walk your hands maybe to the, the left, maybe to the right. Unleash some unwanted tension around the waist. And there you go. Now press your feet into the bend your knees. Inhale, rise up. Come to the standing posture, Tadasana. And pause here for a moment. Find your breath. Find your mountain pose right here. You can still have your hands at the heart center, or you can bring your hands on the side of the body, standing tall. So what brought you today's yoga practice? Today's mantra. All is well. Everything is working out for your highest good. All is well. Now when you're ready, inhale, hands up ahead. Soften the shoulders and pinky face other Axel Michael, big bend, open heart with the cactus arm. Inhale. And exhale, Michael, big bend, shine your heart. Gently push your heart and belly forward. Inhale. And exhale, Michael, big bend, open heart. Feel the body. Now inhale, hands to the head. 
Right hand grab the left, inhale, grow one inch taller, and exhale, gently lean to your right side. And maybe bring your left foot down to create more space. Notice the space. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up. Let's find the other side. Inhale, grow, and exhale, gently lean to your left. And maybe bring your right hip down to create more space. Hmm. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up, and exhale, swan dive down, fold it forward. So welcome to find your normal um, fold it forward or um, downward dog. What am I going to do is I'm going to use the chair for the downward dog, okay? Fold it forward. Inhale, half a lift flat back, neck is super long. So check it in. How's your lower back? Okay, and also upper back. Visualize there's a pencil between the shoulder blades you want to squeeze. Soften the shoulders and bring the shoulders all the way to the tailbone. Hands can be anywhere, but no weight. Elongate the spine. You might feel hamstring, lower back being stretched. Exhale, plunge your hands on top of mat or on top of chair. Step back from your downward facing dog. Inhale. Open mouth and exhale. And one more time, inhale. Open mouth and let it go. And one more time, inhale. Open mouth and let it go. Gentle sail your lip. At the bottom, exhale, gaze forward, hop or beat wall to the top of the mat. You can turn your face facing me. Inhale, half a lift, flat back. And exhale, fold it forward. Press your feet into the bend your knees. Inhale, rise up, bring your hands above your head. And exhale, hands to the heart center. And one more time, inhale, hands over head. Soften the shoulders and pinky face each other. Exhale, micro baby, and shine your heart. Inhale. And exhale, micro baby, and open heart. Inhale, and exhale, micro bend, bend, shine your heart. Now inhale, hands over head. This time, interlace your hands, flip your palms into the sky. Inhale, elongate the spine, and exhale, gently lean to your right side. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up, let's find the other side. Inhale, grow, and exhale, gently lean to your left. Maybe bring your right hip down, create more space. Cool, one more deep breath, inhale up. And exhale, swan dive down, fold it forward. Inhale, half a lift flat back, neck is super long. Exhale, plant your hands, either on the chair or tumble mat. Find your downward facing dog. If you want to get into chaturanga, either lower your knees down. And today I like to uh, demonstrate how to do the chaturanga on the chair or on the wall. Now this very simple hands just grabbed on at the uh, on the back of the chair or the wall. Inhale to upper dog. Just step forward, open the chest, bring the shoulders down. Feel that space. Shine your heart. And exhale, step back. Find your downward facing dog. Notice the space. The same idea. The lower back is flat, and you flex your knees. You might feel lower back and the calf being stretched, even the hamstring. I can feel a lot of uh, my shoulder stretch right here. Now inhale, right leg high. Bend the right knee behind you, slowly just circle around. If you're on the chair, welcome to find it. It's really fun. Good, and actually ease your right foot down. Let's find the other side. Lift up your left leg behind you. Open the hips. Good, and actually ease your left foot down. At the bottom, exhale, gaze forward. Hop or big walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, half a lift, flat back. And exhale, fold it forward. Press your feet into the bend your knees. Inhale, rest up in your hands above your head. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale. And exhale, hands to the heart center. 
Pause here for a moment. Notice your breath. Now release your hands on the side of the body. Okay. And next one, we're going to open our shoulder with around the clock. All right. So you can visualize I have this wall next to me. So find a wall. Now you can extend your hands into the sky. So this is our travel clock. Now go to the back, belly always facing to the front. Okay, to the back, just feel that range of motion. If this is too much for you, step away from the wall a little bit more to give your body a little bit of room. Okay, have a few breaths right here. And two o'clock. Soften the shoulders, find your good breath. Now three o'clock. And four o'clock. Five o'clock. Now six o'clock. Now bring your hands, either palm, just uh, press down into the wall. Either this, palm, uh, the fingertips facing up, or doing like this, fingertips facing toward your face, the same direction. Now slowly anchor down your palm on the wall and slowly, slowly turn your belly, rotate to the di different direction. Good, and actually, woof, stretch it out. That's a lot for the right shoulder. Now, when you're ready, let's find the other side. Now, find your 12 o'clock. Okay, and slowly walk your fingers to the back. 11 o'clock. Have a few breaths right here. Really notice the range of motion you know, next to between your chest and also humerus. Now to the back, 10 o'clock. If this is too much for your shoulder, one more time, step away, away from the wall a little bit more. If your shoulder has more flexibility, you can get in closer to the wall and I have this beautiful invisible wall that you can see through now to the back now claw position and down I think now come to the seven o'clock I'm bringing up my belly facing forward. And six o'clock. Uh, bring your palm, press in anchor down to the wall. Either fingers point upwards or point to the same direction like your face, your belly. Now slowly, slowly turn your belly facing to the opposite direction. Good, and actually, whew, stretch it out. Whew, sorry, lucky. Well, let's stretch it out. All right, so now inhale, hands over head. And exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, have a lift flat back, neck is super long. Exhale, plant your hands either on top of mat or on top of the chair back. Find your downward facing dog. If Chaturanga is your practice today, and welcome to find it. And once you finish your flow, 
nor your knees and get some water.